I just happened to have my drone with me because I was gonna film some dolphins. I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna check it out. And sure enough, roll up on it. I have this pretty cool zoom lens for it. So I could be like, yeah, a pretty good distance away and pretty high. And I roll up on it and I'm like, oh my God. It's Say hi to the vlog, Piggy. Oh, I'm just realizing she has a little scratch on her face. Piglet had a reaction two days ago. She had to get her rabies shot and she had a horrible, horrible reaction to the shot. Her face blew up within minutes. Like I looked at her one second, she was just red, which I took notice to and I was like, that's weird. And then I went, did laundry and I turned around and her face was like the size of a freaking bowling ball and it was so, so scary. So we took care of that, everything's good, but I just realized she has a scratch because she was itching. The girls and I and Michael are on our way to the Outer Banks making a little pit stop. I think this is gonna be our only pit stop today. We're almost there and I really have no plans for this vlog. Like I just, I didn't have any like ideas for an intro and stuff and I feel like normally it is thrown together. There's a bunch of random stuff thrown into a beach vlog, but really I just, I have no like specific plans or anything but that's where we're headed so i just wanted to catch you guys up because we're almost oh. there and i realized i didn't even start the vlog yet mike has been playing some cruise tours for us on the screen which has been really fun to watch and this is just awesome <laughs> well we have made it to the glorious gorgeous beach we got here last night and i didn't bring out the camera because I don't know. It's not fun to bring out the camera on the first day because there's not much going on. We're prepping, getting groceries and stuff, so nothing crazy really happens. Today, we went to the gym. We took an amazing walk on the beach with the girls. They loved it. And uh, I'm glad we went to the gym. We have been putting health on the back burner for a little while. Like, hardcore since the engagement, we kind of just started splurging on food and just enjoying ourselves and not really taking health as seriously as we should. So we're getting back into it. We got to stick to it. I know it's, it is very, very hard, but you know, you gotta, you gotta stick to it and make it a habit. So we're working on that. Um, and now we're going to go get some bros because we're very hungry from our workout and then walking on the beach with the girls. And I'm very excited to go get some lunch. And whenever we get it, come back and show you guys the amazing lunch that we're going to have. All right, we're back with the lunch. We have the wings, French onion dip sandwich, which is so good. I dip it in their ranch dressing, which is always phenomenal because it's homemade and it's amazing. And then a Cali club without a bun because, you know, Mike's trying to be healthy and that's Gouda trying cheese. And then while we were waiting for the food, we went over to Ace hardware and we got some goodies for the girls, which they don't know about yet. I think maybe Piglet's maybe catching on, but we got a little shark. Piglet loves latex toys. She just freaks out over them. And then a little oh, doggy. Wow. <laughs> She's ready to destroy that. And then this little doggy for oatmeal because she'll suck on the nose, which she loves to do. Oh, there's a squeaker in the nose. I don't know if she'll like that. And then we got some binoculars because I got some binoculars for Mike for Christmas because every time, are you cleaning the toy? <laughs> Because every time we come down here, we want binoculars and we always forget always them. So I got some. And then of course we forgot the binoculars at home because we were so worried about bringing the drone that we forgot, forgot them. So we bought these and we're excited to use them because we've been seeing all sorts of ships out there. And I swear this morning I saw a cruise ship. I'm sure it was just a container ship, but I swear it looked like a cruise. So I'm excited to use them. It's day two, I think at the beach. Day two, right? Day, day three? Day two? I don't know. I get lost whenever I'm down here because it's just so magical and perfect. Um, we had a nice relaxing morning, went to the gym, got in a great workout, and now we are going to go ruin that workout by taste testing wedding food. And we're going to be eating a lot of pizza. We're going to be drinking some alcohol, I think, to pick out, oh, yeah, <laughs> to pick out the different beers that are going to be on kegs and wines and stuff. And then we're making two signature cocktails for the girls. That's always been a dream of mine to have the dog's faces on like a little board and then have the cocktail be named after them. I love that idea and we're really excited to do it. So we're gonna figure out different types of cocktails today to name after Piglet and Oatmeal. But the first day that we were here, something insane happened to us and we haven't shared it with you guys yet in this vlog. So I figure now's the time since we have a little bit of a drive 
we're going up north to do our taste testing and I feel like it's right that Mike explains it to you guys because it's so insane and he's gonna do a good job at explaining it. So we'll put the footage in obviously, but every time we come, in the winter time, you see a lot of dolphins. It's great, it's awesome. You see dog, they jump out of the water. It's like a dolphin show, but it's in the wild, so it's amazing. Every time we're down here, I always think like I see a splash from a dolphin jumping or a bird diving in the water. And I always think like, oh, is that a whale? Like the blowhole of a whale? And I never see one, never. Even though people say like, oh, once in a while you'll see a whale. So anyway, we're watching dolphins when we first get here, like normal. And I see like a big splash, but I didn't say anything. Cause I was like, well, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to say it's a whale and it's not going to be a whale. And I'm going to feel like an idiot, like always. And then I saw a huge fin like unmistakably large, something different than a dolphin or a bird. So I was like, I think that's a whale this time, for real. Um, and I just happened to have my drone with me because I was gonna film some dolphins. I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna check it out. And sure enough, roll up on it. I have this pretty cool zoom lens for it. So I could be like, yeah, a pretty good distance away and pretty high. And I roll up on it and I'm like, oh my God, it's a whale. <laughs> and it's like, it's a whale, a huge whale with all these dolphins swimming around it. And the dolphins are like one-tenth the size, not even, like probably not even that, probably one-fifteenth the size of this whale. So it was enormous. And turns out, so I get this footage, I post it in the Facebook group for the people that live here that we're a part of, because we spend our, we're snowbirds, we spend our winters here. <laughs> so we're in the group. And uh, it goes like, not viral, but viral for that group. Like Viral for the page. Yeah, for viral sure. for the page. <laughs> And then I start getting all these messages from um, like the National Oceanic Animal Association or whatever it is, and then North Carolina Aquariums, and they're like, you've got footage of an insanely rare right whale. There's only 350 of them left in the world. And uh, like, can you send us the good quality version of your footage so we can identify the whale? And the thought is that it's a pregnant female. So anyway, I caught this insane whale just by chance, because I was looking out the window that day. We've never seen one in all the years we've been down here. We asked a local, I was like, how often do you see a whale? And he's like, well, I've actually never seen one. I, I know some people have gotten some pictures of them from like far away. So this is like pretty incredible, really rare footage to get, like it's insane. And uh, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna go do this taste test and then we're actually gonna go to the aquarium. We brought Mike's laptop with all the footage on it and stuff and we're gonna talk to a few people about it and you know, see where things take us and I'm excited. I'm just excited even talking about it. I'm getting all worked up. But we're gonna go eat a little bit of lunch and then we'll head to the aquarium and see how things go and what they have to say about the footage. fantastic Real I'll pop mood. up I think I only got two pictures but I'll pop them up here we had a bunch of different pizzas that we tasted we tried some different wines just went we over don't like know anything about the wine no it was wine <laughs> we just tasted and whatever was the best we picked we did a charcuterie board and salad and it was just really really good now we're at the aquarium and we were able to show them the footage and get that over to them and stuff. They showed us a little cool. bit. Got a little behind the scenes. Behind the scenes of the sea turtles, which was so awesome. I didn't get out my camera though, because I was just trying to soak it in. But we're actually gonna go through the aquarium now and I'll get a little bit of footage. My camera's about to die, so I'll try to get as much as I can.
that worked out very well. My camera did not die. I cannot believe it. So I got some pretty cool footage. I thought, I seriously thought, I was like, this is gonna die after like we look at one exhibit. So thank goodness the battery's still going. Now we're gonna head home and be with the girls because they've been alone all day. So we'll get home and take them for a walk because the sun is quickly going down, but we'll get home and go for a nice little beach walk. Good morning, you guys. Today is one of the most exciting days ever. Mike and I are gonna be going up to our venue to go tour it. We've actually never gone inside of this house before. We kind of just booked it based off of pictures and reviews and stuff. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing and stunning and I know it will be, but we are officially walking through it today. We figured since we're down here, might as well get some stuff done because we're probably only gonna be coming here like maybe, I would say maybe like at most two more times before the wedding, maybe only one more time, I don't know. But we really wanted to get stuff done this time around and um, it worked out that we were able to tour it and stuff because it was not booked this week. I swear to God I'm seeing another whale out there, but I know I'm just making it up. I'm sure it's just birds diving in and splashing. Maybe not, maybe not. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that's where we're headed right now. Show you a little bit of piggy because you haven't seen them much, I feel like, in this vlog. We could probably take them because the house allows dogs. We're gonna be bringing both of them to the wedding, but I feel like this is kind of just business, get it done, get home kind of thing, so we'll just leave them behind and uh, try to get this done as fast as possible so we can come back and enjoy the beach and take nice walks because this is gonna, it's like an hour and a half drive for us, so this is gonna take up a good chunk of the day, but this is it for responsibilities and then the rest of the week is just relaxing and doing the typical like routine that we have here. We just finished our tour at the Black Stallion and it was so very rushed. Like we got out of the truck and crazy. just went through it really fast. So I didn't even vlog at all. I didn't really expect to because I knew I had to like really focus, get measurements down and stuff. Um, but we just did that and it was insane, right babe? Like you know how we always oh say God. pictures don't do it That's justice? Crazy. That house was a massive. Fit 60 people, like comfortably. It's huge in there. Yeah. It doesn't look that big from the outside, which is what's incredible. But well, that house was a massive example of it. Pictures don't do it justice. It's so stunning and just huge in person. And then we're gonna show you guys something really special here. So we're actually walking up to the golf course where we're gonna be getting married, and we're gonna be getting married under that tree with the bay in the background. So a little bit of the behind the scenes here for you guys. Seven Isn't that crazy? Club. This is so weird. So I'm assuming I will get dropped off up there and then walk down the sidewalk and to the hole. I had to go up a little bit of a hill. That's a little scary. I don't plan to wear heels though, so thank goodness. But it is so gorgeous out here. That tree is so cute. We're just hanging out, watching the dolphins out there. Big pod. There's a big pod, Mike says. There's dolphins every day all day. Anytime you look out here, there's dolphins and we love it. It's our favorite thing. I think I'm gonna close off the vlog here because we have only like two more days left and Mike's family is gonna be stopping by. So we're just gonna, you know, enjoy family time because we don't get to see them very much. It's his mom and brother who don't live near us. So we're gonna hang out with them and enjoy. And I figure this is just a good time to close it off. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I don't know when we're going to be coming back here next, but hopefully soon because we just love it so much. So we'll see you later, guys. Bye.